Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. What's going on, Boomerites? It's good to see you. Uh, I'm going to... I've been watching uh, I'm Alan Partridge, the show, on Patreon. Um, I just started. I'm about two episodes in at the moment. And uh, I'm getting ready to do a third. But I just did a Alan Ford reaction. And I saw this in my recommended feed. Uh, I figured I'd do this one because on Patreon, people have suggested that I go back and do Knowing Me, Knowing You first. Although the majority say that, you know, I don't need to watch it, but it, it would be cool if I went back and watched it afterwards because I seem to know what's going on for the most part in I'm Alan Partridge. But anyway, uh, I clicked on this because it said, Knowing Me, Knowing You, Alan Meets a Cockney Gangster, and it looks like it's Alan Ford. So I want to check out this clip and see how funny Knowing Me, Knowing You is. Because I've been loving I'm Alan Partridge so far. So let me check. There's also a link below if you want to check out the Patreon. But I'll also leave a link for the original video in the description below this one. And let's see what this one's all about. Alan's, he's he doesn't have much gray hair in this. So it'll be interesting to see what he says and uh, how this goes here. There's also a second clip. So I might just continue it all in one and kind of blend it together. But here we go. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Let's check it out. Guest was born within the sound of Bow Bells. He is a Cockney man. 30 years ago, he crawled out of the maggot-ridden cesspit that is <laughs> the East End of London. To become, Damn. To become Britain's most colourful boxing and entertainment promoter. He spends all day on the dog and bone phone. He's about to come down these apples and pears stairs. I'm sure we're going to have a great bowler hat chat. So please welcome a very special antique Edwardian tea chest guest. That last one was mine. Um, two years ago, two years ago, he was cleared of garroting a nightclub owner in Leicester Square. Please welcome Terry Norton. Terry Norton. Okay, so he has a different name. Look at him. He's looking dapper. Now, from the description I got uh, of people telling me about knowing me, knowing you, apparently these interviews go horribly wrong. So it, it's got to go wrong with uh, a gangster from East London, right? Oh, nice, nice, nice whistle. Whistle and toot, suit. Float. Sorry? Whistle and float. Yeah, yeah so. right, whatever. Um, <laughs> knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Terry Norton. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Now, Terry, <laughs> you come from a very humble background, but now you mix with the great and the good. You're a little cockney whelk sitting on a plate of oysters. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever sort of think to yourself, how did I get here on top of this plate of oysters? <laughs> well, well, of course I do, Alan. I mean, it's a combination of determination, perseverance, and a good head of business. Of course, and if I may say so, we're a little bit, we're a little bit, <laughs> we're a little bit of blooming luck. <laughs> that, is, is that fact? <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> I don't know what that song was, but look at his face. We're I... a little bit. <laughs> We're a little bit of blooming luck. <laughs> that is, is that fact? <laughs> yeah. I, if I saw that face in person, I'd be scared to death. Yeah, well, you know, if you like, yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, you and me, oh, no, we're the same. Now, we're two working class boys. No education, no qualifications. Yeah. But through sheer determination, <laughs> we have made it to the top of the tree. Well, well I've got to pick up on a couple of points there. <laughs> <laughs> I did go to East Anglia Polytechnic and I've got a couple of pretty good A-levels. Yeah, well, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah, I know, and, and very quickly, um, as regards working class, um, my, my, <laughs> my parents did own their own home and we holidayed now and again in Spain, so I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> but um, I, I, imagine, uh, I imagine you know Spain quite well, what with all your, uh, all your connections. Yeah, I've got a villa out there. It's uh, cut into the cliff, overlooking the mid, blinding. Lovely. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Just in case. I love that term, overlooking the med. I really like that term. I don't know why. 
Just in case what? You know, just in case you need to go on holiday, quickly. <laughs> oh. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Just in case. <laughs> just in case what? You know, just in case you need to go on holiday, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're leading me down a dark alley. <laughs> I uh, the last place I'd like to be with you is down a dark alley. <laughs> Why is that? Sorry? <laughs> Why is that? I just wouldn't. <laughs> now, Terry, um, you've, you, you've promoted uh, boxing, uh, snooker, bowling, crown green and tempin. That didn't work. Um, but uh, now you're launching a new promotion uh, next month. T tell us about that. Uh, that's right, yes. I'm, uh, I'm bringing back the beauty contest because uh, times may change, fashion, whatever. But people will always want to look at lovely ladies. Now, that is from the 20th century right back to the ancient Greeks. Aristotle Onassis. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, whatever the women's libbers may say, German Greer, Esther Ransom. That lot, yeah. You can't change human nature. You can't, Terry. But I'll tell you something. I, um, I used to support the women's libbers. Really? When they said, uh, burn your bras. <laughs> 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 Okay, so that's the first part. Now let me just make sure that this is going to... Okay, so it's going to be in the same window. All right. Here we go. Let's continue. This one says he's Alan... So it's both... I'll put both videos in the link below because it's two separate ones. This one says Alan threatened by Cockney Gangster, so... Let's check this out. Murderer! You killed my son! That was what the mother of, of the garroted nightclub owner of Leicester Square said to you as you left court, having been cleared of the murder of her son, her only son, the, the garroted nightclub owner of Leicester Square. Did, did those words hurt? Well, of course. Uh, yes, I was in Leicester Square that night, but as was proved in court, I was hailing a cab at the time it happened. Absolutely. Well... We've now got a reconstruction of that night <laughs> using oh, professional no. actors, some of whom have appeared in The Bill and Minder. <laughs> now, Terry, that night in Leicester Square, was it something like this? Taxi! <laughs> Is that how it was? Well, yeah, more or less, yeah. Right, because at the he time, said, yeah. there were some people who said... It happened like this. Taxi! <laughs> That's how it didn't happen. Uh, what, what, what's that? that? That was how it didn't happen. No, no. That is a couple of punches mincing about talking rubbish. Touched the nerve there, intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gone down by this. It was dealt with by the law courts. The matter is finished, it's over. It's dead and buried. Rather like the garage. I don't muck about it. <laughs> You're getting out of your depth, Alan. People get out of their depth, they end up drowning. It's, it's, calm down, well, it's you, just a chat show. Do you want to get involved? Do you want to get involved in this world? Nightclub owners in Leicester Square get garroted, ammonia in the boat. Because if you want to get involved, I'll get you involved, son. You want to get sucked in, I'll suck you in. <laughs> I'll suck you in so far you get blown out the other side. Why that soppy look like you've gone on this face? Do you want to get sucked in? I don't, I don't want to get sucked in. <laughs> well, then you tell these ladies and gentlemen what that was all about. There was a couple of ponces mentioned about talking rubbish. <laughs> I don't think I've heard the gormless face insult since uh, those exchanges between Carl Pilkington and Steve Merchant on the Ricky Gervais show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are we going to have a beauty contest or what? Beauty contest, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later for that. Thank you for that nice chat. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Terry Norton, an innocent man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terry Norton, an innocent man. That was that was good. That was good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Some people said I might not like knowing me knowing you as much as I like the uh, I'm Alan Partridge show, but uh, I like this. And if most of knowing me knowing you is like this, then I will most likely enjoy it, right? 
Um, here's the thing, though. I don't think I'm going to go back and uh, watch Knowing Me, Knowing You at the moment. I'm having fun watching Alan Partridge. I'm Alan Partridge uh, in order um, for now. But there may be a time when I go back and watch it. Uh, it's not going to be any time soon, though. But it, yes, this does look interesting. It looks funny. And um, yeah, apparently this is the show that Alan Partridge had, quote unquote. Um, and then when you get to I'm Alan Partridge, he's trying to get a, uh, his series back and it doesn't go well. So, but that I'm Alan Partridge show has been terrific so far. It's It's a good watch. I can't wait to watch more, but, uh, yeah, eventually I got to go back and watch this. This looks, this looks quite good, but I hope you guys enjoyed the reactions here and, uh, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And, uh, yeah, throw in the comments below whether you think it's worth a watch or not. Cause, uh, I, I asked about it on Patreon, but, uh, this will drop on Patreon first just to let them know I did this, but, uh, I, on YouTube. Whenever you guys get around to it, throw the comments below. Let me know what you think of uh, Knowing Me, Knowing You, and is, if it's worth the watch before I'm Alan Partridge, because I'm curious to get uh, your insight on it as well. So, anyway, much love, everybody. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Don't go in a dark alley with uh, Alan Ford, please. Take care, everybody.